You know, it's funny because we just did a video about the new Android 14 beta features, in particular here on my Pixel Fold, but now Android beta 14, which is now the QPR1 beta, as you can see here, you can opt in on the uh, Google beta website. I'll drop a link in the description. Now that is out. And I swear this beta might have more big, huge features than the other beta. This QPR1 is a big deal in particular for the Pixel Fold. Let's quickly run down some of the biggest new features found in this beta. So obviously feature number one, the biggest one, I've already made a dedicated video for this. It is the ability to set the aspect ratio of whatever app you are using. The ramifications of this are absolutely huge for people that were bothered by apps that had letterboxing or pillar boxing apps like Wise now are able to be full screen if you want to do that. And it's going to make a lot of people very, very happy. The way this works is pretty simple. You're gonna select an application. Let's do app default and open it back up. This is how Wise worked before. And now if we jump back over, you can do full screen, half screen, or four by three. Let's open it back up. And now that application is full screen. Just to add another like little piece of intrigue to that feature and why it wasn't here when the Pixel Fold launched. It came out with pillar boxing and reviewers were mad about it. And just why that happened is very strange. I quote tweeted Michelle's uh, tweet about this. This is how I found out about this being a thing. And Ty, who you may know from some other videos, he's a person who is porting Android 13 to the Surface Duo. Ty says, it's funny that they've had this ability in Android since 12L. Google just never built, built the UI for it. So this had been in Android for quite some time. Why the Pixel Fold did not ship with this enabled your guess is as good as mine. Another feature that has seemingly been lifted directly from Samsung's Z Fold is continue using apps on Fold. So by default, only games and videos and more, whatever that is, actually will continue. Let me demonstrate this really quickly. If we fire up YouTube or something that's going to be playing a video, let's fire up a video from my wife's YouTube channel, and we close the device, it will continue playing that video on the cover display. And like you just saw, by default, that was only going to be the case with games, videos, and more. Now, you can change this to always. So basically, closing the, the device is no longer going to be the same thing as locking the device, again, if you want to go that route. You're gonna have to hit the power button to actually lock it, or hit never, and just turn that off altogether. I'm actually gonna leave it on the default setting because I thought that made a lot of sense to me. So another interesting one, if we jump into wallpaper and style, of course we've been able to set different wallpapers for home screen and lock screen. However, now we're actually able to set different live wallpapers for both of these. So let's, you can see, switch to lock screen. Let's go to more wallpapers. Let's go to living universe and let's just do that one there. And you can see here lock screen. Let's go ahead and set that only on the lock screen. And now if I do this, you'll see that live wallpaper is there. When I unlock, I could set a different live wallpaper on the inner actual wallpaper of the device if I wanted to do that, which is again, pretty darn cool. While we're looking at the lock screen here, let's swipe over. This is a new clock layout or clock appearance that you can use as well. For this next one, let me get out my uh, Sony wireless earbuds and let's jump into our Bluetooth settings. And what we can do here is actually select what kind of audio device this is. It is a set of headphones. I don't actually know what benefit this is to you, but you can now label these things, I guess. If we run down to, I think it's under about phone and then battery information, we can actually now see a cycle count, how many times this battery has been charged. That might be beneficial information as well. And of course there were also like a million other little changes that maybe weren't necessarily worth talking about here and several more that weren't fully enabled as of yet, but we can speculate about. In order to go over those, I'm just gonna direct you to a Twitter thread from Michelle Ramon. I'll drop it in the description down below because 
they absolutely, as always, they absolutely have crushed this and have put together this thread that I am vamping as I <laughs> pull up right now. Here is their thread. Again, I'm going to link to it in the description down below this video so you can just scroll through and see all of the other various neat things that maybe I didn't cover in this video. I can't believe how big this QPR1 beta actually was. Really, really massive. And that first feature I talked about is going to be a game changer for a lot of Pixel Fold users or potential Pixel Fold users. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.